Hi, I'm Jim Carr with Sun and Products Company. Today we're here at the museum at the World Headquarters in St. Louis, Missouri. I'd like to take just a moment of your time to show you our PG bore gauging system. So I'd like to show you the two gauges we have to offer. We have the PG 700, which is our smaller finger gauge. It uses a finger set from 90 thousandths all the way to 375 thousandths. And each set of fingers has a range to them. The PG 800 has a range from 370 to 740 on one side and from 740 to an inch and a half on the back side. We can also get extensions to take this gauge up to three inches in diameter. One of the unique features about our gauge is we use a setting master. This eliminates the need for having to have double X rings for setting the gauge. Very quick to set up using the setting master. At this moment, I'd like to show you how to set up the gauge. The PG-800 has a total range of five thousandths on the face and has divisions down to 50 millionths. You can also get this gauge in what's called the PG-810, which has a total of 10 thousandths, and each division is a tenth of an inch. We can also get these gauges in metric. So let's take a moment and set up this gauge. We have a typical pinion gear. We will take our setting master, and we're going to set it to 772 thousandths. On this side of the setting master, we will, it runs in 200 thou increments, so we will take that to 700 thousandths. And once you line up the two lines for 700, you lock in that side. On the opposite side, we will now crank this side to 72 thousandths. Our setting master is now set at 772 thousandths. Now we want to hang this on the front of the gauge where we will zero out the gauge for that diameter. You'll see your needle here. We just want to get close to zero and then lock the gauge down. At this point we want to do a centralization of the setting master and we want that to peak in the negative direction, which it is right there. Now we use our fine adjustment knob to bring the gauge right to zero, which will be 772 thousandths. At this point we can remove the setting master and we still have one more centralization to do, which is with the part. Put the part on the gauge. We want to centralize and now we want to peak in the plus direction, which is right there. So you can see that this part has just under a thousand some material in it before you would hit zero. Just to summarize, the PG700 uses gauge fingers which cover a range from 90 thousandths to 379 thousandths. The PG800 gauge runs from 370 thousandths to an inch and a half, and you can get extension fingers to take you up to three inches in diameter. We also have our setting masters. The smaller setting masters, the PG400, covers both gauges. When you go beyond an inch and a half on the PG-800, then we step into the PG-500 setting master. The setting masters eliminate the need for master rings or plug gauges. The gauges do not require air or a power source to run either gauge. They are rugged and reliable for everyday use on the shop floor or QC department. The PG gauge system is available for sale or for lease. For more information, contact customer service here in St. Louis or go to the Sun website at sunin.com. Thank you for watching.